in the kitchen. What are you making, Dean? All right. So with this cooler autumn weather, I wanted to do something, you know, kind of comfort food. Stick to your ribs. I love beef stew. I wanted to notch it up a little bit. I love French onion soup. So I combined the two together for a slow cooker French onion beef stew. As I mentioned before, this was four onions. Raw, it covered this entire bowl, but I caramelized it down, put some uh, red wine in it, and also some beef stock, cooked it down. This is so flavorful. Now this is really what makes the whole dish. I also took two pounds of beef stew meat, coated it in flour, cooked that down, and then put some red wine and beef stock in it and cooked it down. These guys are super flavorful. We're gonna imagine that this uh, clear bowl here is a slow uh, cooker. Uh, into this also, of course, goes some of the traditional things like celery and celery leaves that are so full of flavor. Carrots go into it uh, as well, of course. Got to put some potatoes in any good beef stew. And uh, also, you know what really gives it an extra oniony flavor? Our little friend, the instant onion soup mix that you can make, you make dip or soup or whatever. But this is gives it a nice beefy taste, gives it an extra nice onion taste as well. Can't be beat. One can of diced tomatoes go into here also. And the spices that I've got, here you go, Oops, where is it? Uh, salt, pepper, bay leaves, and thyme leaves. Uh, all of that is gonna go in as well. Into your slow cooker, your instant pot, whatever, your crock pot, whatever you got. Give it a good, good, good stir. And then into this, I'm gonna put a little more red wine in. A cup of red wine. Save the rest for the cook later. Cup of uh, beef bouillon, also gonna go in. And all of this, whoops, is, <laughs> sweet, is also gonna go into the uh, crock pot. Uh, the one that we've got for you today has been cooking for nine hours on, on slow. On, on a high setting, it should take about five to six hours. On a slow setting, it should take about eight hours. So this is gonna go into there. Now, before I show you the final product with this, I wanna show you how you can make this just like French onion soup. You know how when you get the French onion soup, it has the, the nice toasted bread on top and the, usually it's gr Gruyere cheese that goes on top of it. So I'm gonna put some olive oil on the bread. This is grated Gruyere cheese that we're just gonna put on top of the bread. And then this is gonna go into a broiler and it's gonna get uh, nice and toasty. It winds up looking like this. Look how nice, whoa, these guys look. And I'll show you how we all assemble it all here in a second. This is the final beef stew, French onion beef stew. It's all of the delicious vegetables in it. Oh, does that look good. That's gonna go in there. That's gonna get a piece of this toasted Gruyere bread on top of it. It's fantastic for soaking. And then, you know, just to make it uh, a little old school, these French fried onions also gonna go on top of it. It's Yum. just as simple as that. Uh, the recipes are up at WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks. Stick around, we'll be right back. Anna is around town. In I'm a coming over, Dean. Come on over, come on over.